Hi, I'm Gary, I'm M0TIG, and today we're going to be talking about installing the DV4 Mini device. So what we're going to do first of all, we're actually going to just going to go to the website and we're going to actually download the, the, the software. And it's quite simple. It's actually written on the packaging, um, DV4M. So it's just going to go DV4M, and that's .ham, and that's hyphen, DMR, .ch. Okay, I'm just going to pop along to the website there. And you'll see there's some little folders on here. Um, we've already been here and had a look at some of the documentation and, uh, and previously downloaded the software. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a fresh install. Um, and uh, essentially all you do is just click on the folder and then just scroll down to Windows or Linux, whichever you're using. Um, and then just click on the software to actually download it. Okay, and that's actually done. And all you're going to do is just going to go down to your um, your download folder and actually run the software. Um, agree that obviously it's going to make some changes. We can get rid of that now, um, and then just just follow the instructions. So we're going to say next on this stage. Um, we're going to say next again, um, and we're going to agree with the um, the terms and conditions of the uh, licensing and we're happy with where it's going, it's going to go in program files, it's happy um, and it says it doesn't exist, you want to be created, yeah, well, obviously yes so and we're going to say start the installation okay now that's installed, it was fairly quick and painless, let's see what happens next so we we'll just say next, it's going to give you some more information you're not really interested in and I'm just going to say exit Okay, at this stage you'll notice it's not actually plugged in. Now, probably I'll restart the computer, obviously, just to make sure that everything settles down um, before I plug this in. But, um, you know, in this case, we'll, we'll give it a go and just uh, see what happens. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the device and plug it in a free port. Let's get over there. Okay, it may actually come up and say that it's installing some drivers and there's two, two lights that will actually uh, be illuminated, a green one and a blue one. And the blue one's just to say that it's receiving um, and the green one's obviously just to say that it's, it's, it's happy. So we're just going to run the software, fingers crossed. Okay, now it will start scanning for the, for the DV4 uh, mini device and hopefully in a minute it will find it. There you go, it's happy it's found it. Um, it's actually picked up, it's quite clever, it's actually picked up my um, DMR um, ID, um, it's picked up my call sign, um, and it's picked up my, my, my locator and bits and pieces. Um, the thing to probably change on this is just call yourself D because we're obviously data. Um, um, so we'll, we'll call it, we'll, we'll stick with D there. Um, at the moment we're running on DMR Plus, um, it's important to remember that this actually only connects to the DMR uh, Plus network at the moment. Um, it doesn't connect to the, the um, DMARC system. Right, okay, now obviously the, the software is up and running and it is actually quite happy doing, doing what it's doing. So what we're, what we're going to do now is you're going to pop into expert settings and there's a couple of things you've got to just put in place here. And one of them is like the, the nearest DMR master. Well, obviously we're in Great Britain. You need to, to make that... Um, uh, Great Britain and in this sort of section here it's um, it says the the QRG correction now some people have had some some luck um, improving things just by altering this this setting very slightly at the moment I'm running on minus 200 and in my case that seems to be working quite well so I would probably start around that sort of area and then just obviously get some feedback see how you know how things are going for you um, everything else you can pretty much leave as is um, at this stage um, and it'll be up and running well okay and the other thing you've got to probably remember at the moment is how to set some of the DMR equipment up or I mean in the case of um, uh, D-Star it's fairly straightforward um, you'll see that it's actually um, I've got it tuned here to, to 433425, which is a basic simplex um, uh, frequency. Um, and I'm going to probably, let's go on to reflector um, 001, Charlie. So let's just uh, connect to that. Now that's quite happy. It's connecting to that, that, that reflector. And it should come up there. Yeah, there you go. It's telling me that it's, it's actually connected. And you'll notice that the red light is actually going red. Now, that's saying it's actually transmitting. So all we're going to do is we're going to turn the radio on. 
and then uh, we're going to tune the radio now to the the frequency that we got there. What is it? Four three three four two five. So there you go. Four two five. Welcome to a Charlie Golf Room. Good afternoon. There you go. That's um, that's D Star. Quite happy. i um, doing its thing. Um, so that, that's that's happy days. Um, so let's let's try something like on uh, DMR. So let's just turn that off. Okay, we're going to go back over to DMR Plus. Uh, the two main sort of systems really at the moment. Let's just. Uh, so we're going to, what we're going to do for the moment is we're just going to minimise this program, and I'm going to go to the the um, the, the in this case Hytera um, CPS um, software, um, and I'll show you how to um, just get that set up basically. Um, and it's that one. Okay, and the other one I do. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to create a um, a zone um, in here and just call it. I mean, you can call it whatever you like. I've in my case, I've called it um, DB4 Mini. Um, and what you do then is you you, you obviously want to you're going to direct this to a to a, um, a DVAP um, sort of designated um, frequency, um, which you do just in channels. Um, so you create a new channel first, okay, and obviously what I would set this up for is, you can call it whatever you like, I've just called it um, under a, the, that particular frequency, um, you're going to need to use colour code 1, you're going to need to use slot 2, um, pretty much everything else you can leave as none, unless you want to put it in a roam group amongst something else, um, but you know, for the, for the demonstration I'll just leave it as is. Um, you put your, your RX uh, and um, TX frequencies in, they're both the same in this case. And you want to call your TX contact name, I'm using uh, the local T, uh, TG9 um, um, contact. Um, and that's pretty much it. Everything else I've just marked as, n as none. I've just said TX admit is always allow or, or call as a TX admit always allow. Um, and I put the, the TX timeout at 240. Um, again, it depends on, on your setup, I, I suppose, um, or however you you know you see fit. Um, right, okay. So we're going to we're going to come out of this, and obviously you would write that to the radio. Then, well, I've already done that, so let's this come out of that. I don't want to save the changes. So now we're going to go back to the DB4 Mini. Uh, it's all running on it. There it is. Right, okay. So that's quite happily running. It's now in DMR plus mode, um, and we're connected at the moment to uh, 440, which is the, the Uni United Kingdom um, uh, reflector or um, you know, Hytera DMR plus uh, talk group, whichever you like to call it. Um, I believe that the repeater uh, guys have actually set up um, 4402 um, for testing, um, so you don't jam up 4400. Um, but you know we're going to sit on 4400 and see what's actually on so um, it doesn't look like anything's transmitting at the moment but then quite simply you turn your radio on and then tune to the it wants to boot up and just then simply tune to the um, the channel and there it is, and I've actually called mine um, DV4 Mini, um, and then obviously the, the contact again is DV4 Mini. You can change that and call it whatever you whatever you like um, in in the CPS software, and that is actually quite happily receiving that now. But there's uh, n nothing on at the moment. Okay, there's um, just one little thing that we've actually noticed in in some of the uh, the forums and stuff is that some people are having trouble with some um, maybe a little bit of interference. And with some of the the, the um, parts of the computer, or, or or maybe you know vice versa. So, what the talk is at the moment is that maybe we should be using um, like a, a small extension cable, or an extension cable. And that's quite simple. It's a screened um, extension which you can protect with some ferrites, um, and you quite simply can then add 
put this by a window or if you're in the garden or whatever. Um, and in my case, I'm just going to stick it down with a little bit of blue tack, like so. And then you just simply just plug it into your computer and just use it as normal. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was a pretty painless install. Um, as I say, at the moment, it's uh, DMR's uh, quiet. Everyone's at work. Um, but as I say, if you, if you have any questions, give us a call at Martin Lynch and uh, we'll answer as best we can. Thanks very much.